Do you have something you want to tell about yourself? Like, uh, what what was uh, the reason you started into tuning? The uh, reason I got into it, I, I really didn't have anything else going on. Um, I had a, uh, I don't know, I had a little different uh, childhood. I was always into art, I was always into reading, uh, and I got grounded a lot, so I kind of, uh, I kind of uh, stayed inside a lot, you know, and um, when I started working, I, I didn't really work well with like a normal, a typical, you know, type of job, you know, I always wanted to do more, and uh, I always felt that I had more to offer, so when I got into tattooing, it kind of just did, you know. And the one thing that I did find out about it was that there there wasn't a ceiling to it. You know, yeah. There was no limit, you know, and I and I could just kind of pursue my own passion as, as much as I could. Um, yeah. And my I guess myself was my own limit there. So. I think so too because you can always 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 evolve doing mm-hmm. tattoos and learn something new, like oh, yeah. new techniques, new styles. Yeah. And, and really there's always exciting. new techniques coming out as well. Yeah. So that's what kind of keeps me into it. You know, it's like the moment you get tired of it, it's like. Oh, something else you know and there's something else ah, i gotta go learn how to do that yeah, yeah. exactly it's yeah, like yeah. it's it's art you know and art mm-hmm. never uses just stops it just keeps it all day yeah, like you yeah. said uh how long have you been to train for then 22 years 22 years mm-hmm. 23 tomorrow oh right, my 23 goodness. next week next week uh, wow so. that is just as long as long as how, uh, how, how old around. i am yeah. i'm 22 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i started in uh i started in 97 Oh wait! Oh shit! I was born in like ninety six. Holy shit! <laughs> oh man! Oh, shit. oh that's amazing! Yeah. Really? Um, so, what, what kind of style do you like working in? Is something specific, or do you like working like different kinds of styles? Um, I kind of play around with a bunch of different styles. Again, like we were talking about, it. it I get I get bored. You yeah. know, if I was just gonna do tribal for the rest of my life, you know, I would I would seriously I would want to hang myself. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, tribal so, is. Yeah. Well, you know, and then it's evolved and it's evolved <laughs> and it's evolved, you know. And so uh, no, you know, what, like coming to conventions like this one and uh, and and being around all these different artists always inspires me to do something new. So it seems like every other every month, like I'm kind of like adding a little something to to what I'm doing, but. I guess like right now, what I'm trying to focus on is a is a heavy uh, black and gray uh, black and gray realism. Yeah. And uh, and then like splashes of color or a color influence onto it to kind of like push a direction in the the piece. What what I'm really trying to focus on now is is walking the viewer through a piece without being there. Yeah. Uh, by using color to kind of you know direct them, I guess you know. Um, and then technique on top of that, trying to evolve technique as much as I can. Yeah, because I think that's really cool. But I could see the piece that you're working on uh, last uh, last night and today. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that's yeah. something I've never really never seen anything like that before. Mostly because I don't uh, really follow that much in color. Mm-hmm. But the greens that you were doing were like really nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah. I really like that. Uh, yeah. And also, like the girl you're tattooing had a lot of the very special pieces, and yeah. you really. Uh, Combine that group. That's the hard part, right? Yeah. You know, because you don't want to, if somebody has a whole black and gray, uh, you know, uh, set of tattoos, you know, you don't want to put something bright and obnoxious right next to it. Yeah. Kind of, you know, you can't really fit that in. And, and, and yeah, and, and then that's, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of arrogant for a tattoo artist to do so, you know, to, yeah. to kind of, you know, take advantage of that piece of skin, you know, at the cost of the, the client or the person collecting, yeah. you know. So you want to try to, uh, you want to try to adapt what you're doing in. Whatever else is uh, around there, you know, and yeah. not just black out the rest of it just to just to make your piece look cool. Yeah, of you course. Know? So you really have to you know, fit it in, and I think you have to maybe uh, change it a bit so it fits with the rest of her style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but about this convention, have you been here in uh, in Helsinki before? No, uh, this is my first time. First, first time in Sweden. First time, yeah, yeah. Well, that's very nice. Mm-hmm. Have you been to any other convention in uh, Scandinavia then? Uh, well, I was in not not quite up this far. I was, uh, my first convention was in California in the United States, and uh, my second convention was in Belgium, and the third one was in uh, Amsterdam, um, and fourth one, Washington, or Oregon, this is my fifth convention. It's so, only a fifth. Mm-hmm. Really? I just started doing this, yeah. Okay, well, I think you're doing years, and, so like, great. This is my, uh, my fifth one, yeah. Yeah, I well, I think you're doing so great, and I think because you're so talented, Thank you. you get your name out so so quickly here in Scandinavia as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know where your customer is from. She said she traveled quite yeah, a Yeah, she's a uh, she's from the east coast of the United States, and I live on the west coast. So yeah, um, but I actually met her when I was in Amsterdam. Okay, and, uh, and so we had talked about like doing a piece on her, and then just kind of connected. And, yeah, let's go back to Europe. Yeah, I think it's very funny that do you both live in in America now. Mm-hmm. 
It's, I think it's quite yeah, funny that met, you both paralleled here. Yeah. yeah, even though we live in the same. Yeah, and, I and think it, it turns out we know a lot of the same people. You know, oh, honestly, really? So, yeah. Are they uh, some of the people here? Um, yeah, a couple of people here. Uh, let me see. Uh, but but mostly back home. You know, oh, just yeah, from yeah. Uh, maybe that's the same. environment, and maybe from a shop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the television show, and like different guys that were on that show, uh, different people that she's collected from. Um, yeah. Like, before in the past, so. Yeah, it's uh, and again, like the type of work that she does have, is not uh, is is not common amongst the people that I normally uh, tattooers that I normally spend time with. Most of my my friends are black and gray realism, you know, yeah. and uh, and heavy even color realism, you know. But she's kind of more into like neo trad and, and a little you know something a little bit different. So um, it's well, kind of fun uh... to stretch your mind and try to try to get outside of your box and do something like that. Well, that's perfect if you want to evolve. So, you know, that's a perfect opportunity for it. Yeah, yeah. Is there something you want to add here at the end of the interview? Um, not really. Uh, I guess I have, um, I guess, uh, follow my Instagram. I don't really have too many followers. So, um, <laughs> uh, at Nolan Wheeler. Um, but, uh, no, I don't really have much to say. I, I'm having a great time uh, in Sweden, and I definitely plan on coming back next year. I might even do the Copenhagen one, too. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. But this whole area is gorgeous, and it's similar to Alaska, but a, a lot nicer, you know, a lot, a lot bigger, you know, and, and there's a lot more going on, so. Well, yeah. I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Definitely, for sure.